I love shopping for unique and unusual fabrics. I love something that you can't find at your local store. But was it crazy to order fabric from India on Amazon? I'm not sure if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but it just arrived this week. So let's find out together. Hi, I'm Tony, and this is So So Lounge. I'm super excited we're hanging out together today. Now this whole fabric thing started when my friend Amy wore this dress to court a few weeks ago. And I absolutely love Frida Kahlo. So as soon as I saw it, I told her I loved it. And she said that she figured I would and told me that she got the dress on Amazon and said maybe I could find some fabric that was similar. So my search began and I started looking for black Frida Kahlo fabric and I actually found some that looked like this. So the listing said that it was hand block printed fabric from India made in Jaipur and it was cotton. So I kept reading to get more details and it actually was listed as 100% cotton fabric. It was 44 inches wide and the thread count was 60 by 60. So that basically means 120 thread count. Um, just for perspective, the sheet thread count is usually about 200. So kind of a lightweight fabric at 120. And then reading down, it was kind of funny because it said this is not lightweight fabric and it's not heavyweight fabric, it's medium weight fabric. But based on that thread count and the additional information further down on the page that said five yards was 1.21 pounds, I had the feeling it was going to be more lightweight than medium weight, which is totally fine for making clothing. So I ordered this on April 3rd. It arrived on April 10th, which was a lot faster than I anticipated because with the regular free shipping included, um, they said it wasn't going to get here till the end of the month. So I was really excited when this showed up on my doorstep on Monday afternoon. So let's get this open and see how the fabric looks on the inside. One of the reasons I did decide to take a risk with this and see what kind of quality the fabric was, was because the written reviews were really, really good. I think the overall stars was like 4.1 out of five, but everybody that took the time to write something actually gave it like four and a half to five stars. They said that the quality of the fabric was a lot better than they expected, that the colors were bright and vibrant, and that it was just, it was a nice surprising purchase and that it was actually turned out very well. So I figured, well, odds are it'll work out for me too. So let's open this up and apologies for all the crinkling. There's a lot of packaging here. Okay. I think once we get out of the plastic, it'll be a little bit quieter. So just straight out the gate, it looks like a very lightweight fabric. I'm going to just kind of toss this over here. It is definitely lightweight. I'm going to hold this up so you can see kind of through it with the lamp that's behind me. It is very pretty though. I'm actually looking at it from the back, which is definitely more muted. If you're not familiar with um, woodblock printing, basically in India, they cut the, the image onto a block of wood and then they hand press it to make the repeat on like these really, really long tables. There are some very cool um, woodblock printing uh, sites on, um, what is it on? Instagram. You can follow some of them on Instagram. And one of them is called Block Printing Company that I watch all the time. They have really great reels showing them printing fabric, which is very cool. And so one side is definitely the right side because it's brighter and um, the back side is much lighter. So we're going to go with this side. Just looking at the fabric, the colors are very, very bright. I'm hoping that's translating in this. Um, the background is supposed to be black. I'm not sure if it's black. It actually looks a little bit more navy to me. This is a black shirt for sure. And when you hold it up, it does kind of look a little navy. That's not a problem. Um, I wanted a darker background so all the colors pop on it. It was available in like a light green, pink, yellow. Um, there were a couple of different variations for the background colors, but then all the front colors stayed the same. So just looking at the Frida's on this, for lack of a better word, I think she looks pretty good. I mean, she looks like Frida. Her eyebrows are not touching. So, you know, they, they kind of missed that detail. But 
it it does look like you know Frida and painting inspired fabric and um the only complaint that i have really is this little monkey that's right here that looks a little bit campy um he just looks like a little monkey cartoon he doesn't really kind of go with the rest of the fabric but that's very minor and overall i think the fabric's really really beautiful it is definitely a very lightweight fabric but like i said that's going to be perfect for making clothes i would not this is not an upholstery weight. You cannot use this to cover anything. Um, probably can make some pillows out of it if you wanted to, but it's definitely best suited for clothing. And me personally, I don't like cutting up beautiful fabrics with design lines. I'd rather have a more simplistic shape so you can really show off the beauty of the fabric. And, um, you know, that's just, that's my personal preference. The, the dress that my friend was wearing actually had like a lot of princess seams and it had like a waistband and there were a lot of cuts in the fabric. So it was hard to truly appreciate the design, but she's not into fabric quite as much as I am. I really want to use the fabric and the design to accentuate the fabric instead of, you know, cutting it into tiny blocks and little pieces. So let's take a closer look at this so y'all can just kind of see more of the details. Starting off, one thing to notice is this is a very large repeat pattern. So from the edge of Frida's skirt here to the next time we see her is about 21 inches. And then the actual height of Frida herself is close to 11 inches. So that's just kind of to put it into perspective. I'm going to just lay my yardstick up here so you can kind of just see the different um just kind of the sizing of the print so it is very big that means that it's it will be a little bit challenging if you do have a lot of pieces um, to your pattern that are cut into smaller pieces and as i mentioned earlier this is one of the reasons i like to use a very basic pattern with minimal um, seams and darts to really emphasize the beauty of the fabric looking at it closely i i still really like it um let's zoom in a tiny bit there we go and um you can kind of see the detail a little bit better i'm gonna slide it over so you can see this frida with the little parrots which i really like um it's a lot of motif from you know representative from her actual art um it's obviously not an exact replica but it's it definitely an inspiration which i also like a lot um, they have some snakes there's a lot of tropical foliage she's got her with little birds um the monkey is down here that i spoke of earlier um she is over here with um holding the monkey so it's definitely a nice homage to the art of Frida Kahlo and it's a fun print. So now that you know the general attributes of the fabric, you're probably wondering what is it like to work with? What is it going to be like to sew? And after I got my fabric all ironed flat um, from all the folding, I tore it across the top to get it on grain. And to do that, I usually take about an inch, about the width of my thumb, and cut a snip and then just tear it across the top of the fabric. That's an easy way to get plain weave fabrics on grain, just so you know. And much to my surprise and slight dismay, it was really, really off grain. So this is the end that I tore. It's about an inch, it's about the width of my thumb. And then once I ripped it across the width of the fabric, it's really off grain in a few parts. So it gets really wide through the middle and then it narrows down to about three inches over on this side. We started with about an inch on this side. So when your fabric is really off grain, it presents some certain challenges. I continued to try and match the top edge of the fabric with the selvage. So basically I'd match the, the torn edge all together and then get the selvage all matched up and then get this crease to lie flat and get the fabric all flat and smooth to get it on grain and it just wasn't working and it was a total beast and i was just getting very very frustrated and then i remembered i didn't wash my fabric because i just took it out of the packaging and started working with it so i threw it in to the washer dried it and then ironed it and then i'm happy to report it was much easier to get it on grain at that point kind of wish i would have remembered to do that from the beginning but I didn't. So once I had my freshly ironed fabric, um, it was much easier to lay out, get on grain, get that top edge to match along with the selvages down the side. 
and I laid out all my pattern pieces to start cutting everything out. You might be wondering what I'm making with this fabulous fabric. So I found this Simplicity pattern. It is 4632. This is a vintage pattern from 2005 and I got it in one of the boxes from my friend's mom. So I thought it was a really fun pattern for summer. I'm going to be making this view, which has the collar and a sleeveless, but it's the shorter dress, not the super long one here. And I thought this would work well for this fabric because it only has bust darts on the front and then there is a center seam in the back, but I was optimistic that I would be able to get the pattern of the fabric to line up decently so that it didn't look too crazy. I don't usually work with fabric that is this thin and this lightweight. And so I was definitely concerned that there might be some raveling or the edges of my pattern pieces would start fraying once I got everything cut out, but it didn't. So I was super happy about that. Um, this is the armhole facing, and you can see that like the edges are super smooth, no, no loose threads, no nothing. It cut out like a dream. And I started sewing it up into my dress just as easy to sew. Like I, I was concerned that maybe some of the fabric had shifted while I cut out some of the pattern pieces, cause you know, sometimes that happens. And no, everything worked out well. It was really easy to sew and it all is coming together very well. This is what I have so far. I put in the bust starts, the side seams, and the center back seam. You might have noticed that there is a particular challenge with sewing with a print that's this large. It was very difficult to get um, both Frida's on the fabric with the width of the pattern pieces, and the center front was cut on the fold, so it was, it was challenging to know what was on the side that I couldn't see. That was on the bottom side of the pattern. But I am happy with the way it turned out. Um, I did get yellow Frida on the back. Um, the other Frida is kind of on the center back seam, which I tried to match as best as I could. Unfortunately, the pattern is not cut on the fold and the center back seam is not straight. It's kind of tapered in to kind of give more of a fitted look through the top. And that's fine, but it isn't exactly what I wanted, but I still think it looks good. Um, I didn't cut her face in half, so that was, that was my goal. So this is it. I still need to finish the armholes, put the facing on the neck, put the collar on and hem it, but it is going to be a fun summer dress. So I'm happy with it so far, and it has been very easy to sew. So added bonus, it's been pretty quick to get it to this stage, and then I just have to, you know, finish the rest of it. Now, if you're wondering how much this fabric cost, it was $25.99 for five yards of fabric, and that included shipping. So breakdown is about $5.19 per yard, which is pretty good for fabric. And, you know, you'd have a challenge to find fabric that cheap at your local fabric store. If you're feeling adventurous and um, looking to work with a large scale print, I would say definitely check it out. It did come in different colorways as previously mentioned, and I think it's a fun fabric. It's very lightweight, so it's gonna be perfect for summer. So that was, that was one of my main reasons to try it out. I love a good cotton fabric, and this is exceptionally light. So it'll be perfect for the hot, humid days that we have here. Now, if you want to learn more about this fabric, I will leave a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. And in the meantime, I am going to head back to my sewing machine to finish working on this dress. And you can check out this video coming up next, which you're totally gonna love.